It's Fox 44 Sports with Matt Roberts. Keep doing whatever they want to do, whether that's playing sports, whether that's acting, writing, anything. Um, it doesn't matter if you have diabetes or not. You can do whatever you want to do. Lady Bear senior Lauren Cox was the featured speaker tonight at an event for the Gi uh, Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. She's lived with type 1 diabetes since she was seven years old, hoping to inspire children like her to overcome diabetes and help find a cure as well. Cox is also having to overcome a knee injury she suffered in the waning moments of the national title game last April, which turned out to be an MCL sprain and bone bruise. But as the team is getting set for their title defense in 2019, Cox feels ready to roll and lead her team back to another championship. Oh, it's good. I'm back 100% practicing, playing and everything. So I'm really excited to get going. It's been good. I've kind of been a leader my kind of my sophomore and junior year, so it's not really a new thing for me, but um, just trying to get the team chemistry back that we had last year. Have a couple of grad transfers coming in, a freshman, and just trying to get the team going again. Baylor will open practices on September 30th, that's Monday, with their scrim first scrimmage coming on October 25th against Langston. Before basketball gets cranked up, we've got an intriguing football contest at McLean Stadium on Saturday when the Iowa State Cyclones being, bring their mini two-game winning streak over Baylor into Waco. They're, of course, led by quarterback Brock Purdy, who's currently second in the Big 12 in total offense behind some guy, an Oklahoma quarterback named Jalen Hurts. A tough matchup for this Baylor defense on Saturday. He's got tremendous instinct. He's a tremendous scrambler. He can push the ball down the field. Um, they're using him as more of a runner as well. He's running zone read. They have you know guys coming around to block for him. But I think the biggest thing is just his true timing passing game is is really elite right now. He's taking throws that they give him, but he can also make the hard throws. And so he's uh, he's really playing good football. Uh, he's a good player. Um, you know what I'm saying Ex extends plays. Uh, good rolling out of the pocket. We just gotta you know what I'm saying stay on our mans and just keep him under the pressure as best we can. Texas A&M dropping their SEC opener last week against the Auburn Tigers, where they did not find the end zone until the fourth quarter for the second straight game against a Power 5 opponent. Now, all Power 5 teams are certainly not created equal. Clemson and Auburn's defenses present huge challenges for anybody they play, but the frustrating part about it for A&M is they see the plays are there to be made early. They just have to settle down and make them. I think you just got to relax and make the plays. We had There's opportunities, and there's plays to be made, whether it's a missed throw, a drop, a missed block. You just got to execute. And sometimes, I mean this, sometimes you try too hard. Sometimes you try too hard. You press yourself into perfection, and you can't. You got to perfect yourself into executing and just trust it, trust your eyes, and play. And that's something you got to work through, and there's no doubt, because we had drives. We moved the football, but you got to learn to finish drives. You got to learn to focus and just let the plays play. Play the plays. Trust what you do in practice and go. A&M in Arkansas kick off at 11 a.m. on Saturday morning at AT&T Stadium in Arlington for the Southwest Classic. The had a top five in scoring offense and total yards. Looking to put that on display Sunday night against the New Orleans Saints. While the defense, they're going to have their hands full even without Drew Brees on the field. This NFL is never easy. You think the Cowboys catch a break with Drew Brees being out for Sunday's game with the Cowboys against the New Orleans Saints, but they still have all-purpose running back Elvin Kamara. So far, he's had 42 carries for 211 yards. He's also had 17 catches for 179 yards, and he's a real hard guy to stop. Uh, he can run past you, through you, and around you. What do the Cowboys have to do to stop them? Yeah, we have to be a great tackling team. Uh, we emphasize that more than anything else on defense every week. The best defenses are great tackling defenses, and, and he challenged it in that regard. Uh, he's hard to get to. He's quick. He's explosive. He's elusive. Uh, he's got great moves. And, and, and then, like you said, he bounces off of contact. He's physical. He's 215 pounds. So there's a lot, there's a lot to challenge you. We've got to get hats to the ball. One guy, two guys, three guys, five guys, 11 guys. And the Cowboys got an injury scare on Wednesday during practice. Amari Cooper, the team's leading receiver and leading scorer with four touchdowns, had to leave practice early uh, with an ankle injury. He was listed as limited. We'll have more on that after Thursday's practice. For the Silver Star Nation, I'm Mickey Spagnolo. And you can get your football weekend started right here on Fox 44 tomorrow night on Thursday Night Football when the Eagles travel to Green Bay. We'll be right back after the break.